Trevor and I met five years ago. I moved back to Newcastle in the summer of 2014, having lived down south for a number of years. And when I initially moved back, I was really unsettled and unsure of what I wanted to do next. And I felt a little bit lost, to be honest. But then after a few months, I met Cheryl and everything just started to fall into place. I knew that I'd made the right decision to be coming back home and I'd eventually found a woman that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. Cheryl and Mark, you've known each other from the first glance of acquaintance to this point of commitment. On the 25th of December 2016, you became engaged to marry. From that moment of yes to this moment of yes, you've been making commitments in an informal way. To be brutally honest, I can't remember the first time I properly met Cheryl. <laughs> I was bladdered. <laughs> it was a bank holiday Sunday, I'd had a few drinks in the afternoon, and I bumped into her, literally, in, the, in one of the bars in Newcastle, Burdoom. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Mark William Beatty, do take thee, Cheryl Day, to be my lawful wedded wife. I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Cheryl Day, do take thee, Mark William Beatty, to be my lawful wedded husband. Cheryl, from this day forward, I promise to share my life with you, to laugh with you, to be proud of you, never take you for granted, always take care of you, and to be faithful to you. I promise to love you for the rest of my life. Mark, I promise to love and care for you and to be faithful to you always, to laugh with you and to cry with you, facing life together wherever it may take us. Let us always remember the feeling that we share for each other and the joy of this, our wedding day. But I knew from an early stage that this was the woman that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. And I think you know when you have that feeling. I had never met anybody like Cheryl before. And I learned very quickly that Cheryl is the kindest, the most caring, compassionate and creative person that I've ever met. You are now united as husband and wife. She makes me a better person every day, and Cheryl always has an upbeat, happy, and positive approach to life. I feel extremely lucky to be standing here to now to be able to call Cheryl my wife. So finally, I just want to say thank you to Cheryl. Cheryl, I tried to prepare myself for how amazing you would look today on our wedding day. But when I first saw you today, I couldn't quite believe it. You took my breath away with how incredible you looked I love all the things that make you you. I love how much compassion you have, even for people that you've never met. I love how you worry about the little things because it shows that you really care. I even love how your feet swell up five times the normal size <laughs> on a long haul flight. But there's so many more things. We embrace each other's flaws and we complement one another perfectly. You know everything about me, the good and the bad, and we love you all the same. Thank you for being the most beautiful, funny, honest and life-affirming woman that you are. I consider myself an extremely lucky man and I can't wait to spend our lives together as husband and wife.